Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. It's nice to see you again. I'm here with, as you know, Antonio, our boatless angler. And we're not boatless today, eh, Antonio? No, we're not. We got the little car topper. We're fishing here in uh, Virgil, Ontario. Uh, it's Four Mile Creek and it's a nice little spot, eh, Antonio? Um, shallow, shallow water and we're looking for carp today. We get a lot of people writing to us talking about carp and I think it's because the carp fishing, Antonio, is getting a lot more popular here in North America. And uh, what we're doing today is we're going to be fishing um, a sliding sinker rig. And what I have here is a sliding sinker down to a T-turn. And usually it's Antonio fishing with two hooks, but what I've done is I've, because I'm using the T-turn, I've got two uh, hooks running off the T-turn, doubling my chances. Yeah, you uh, have the upper edge this time. I got the edge this time, Antonio. Normally it's you that has the edge, but this time I'm going with two hooks. And all we're going to do here, I'm actually toss my line in there nice and quietly, and you can see there I've got a bobber. And um, what we're doing is we're, we're keying in on the shaded area of Four Mile Creek. Uh, this water is very shallow and it gets really hot. And uh, as such, the carp they'll hover around in the shaded area. It's kind of like a bass well. And uh, so what we've done is we've chummed the area with corn. Yep. And um, we're using bobbers today because with the sliding sinker method and fishing so shallow, um, the bait will be sitting right on the bottom and there's no resistance at all for the carp in the shallow water. And like I say, we're keying in on the shade. It's the 80-20 rule. 80% of the fish or 20% of the water. And it's very much true, especially in cases like this, where you have a lot of full sun, shallow water, really, really hot, and those carp will be looking for the shaded areas, a little bit cooler. So we're gonna key in, and with this little uh, car topper, we just paddle to, to different spots, and right now we're gonna try this area here. There's a nice little pocket of shade, and um, we should be in for a, a good day. A good day, eh, Antonio? We'll the see. weather's great, we'll see if the fish cooperate. So stay tuned, folks, we're sure to have a great time. <laughs> You're having too much fun with that ultralight, Antonio. I am catching ultralight fish. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you had a bigger rod, you'd catch some bigger fish. Maybe. Oh, it's a crossbreed. A crossbreed. What do you got there, Antonio? Goldfish carp mix. Mix between a goldfish and a carp. Yep. Well, look at that, eh? You sure it's not a goldfish? Positive. Okay. It's got little barbells, like, like a carp. Okay. But it's got one less. Nice little fish. There you go. There's a lot of people that let go uh, their gold, their pets in here. Ah, okay. <laughs> so they get crossbreed. There you go. Nice fish. It is. Just need them a little bigger. <laughs> I think I got another baby carp just like you caught. What a small little bite. What the heck? It's a turtle. <laughs> it's a turtle. I got a snapping turtle. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, there he goes. You got. <laughs> How's that for catch and release? <laughs> I, well, there you have it, folks. Uh, one snapping turtle. Oh, you gotta love it. Little guy. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty neat. That was a that was a good bite, mind you. <laughs> he was coming in. I'm thinking he's not even fighting. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to bait up with some more corn. Now, speaking of corn, I get asked a lot of times: Do you have to cook the corn? What kind of corn do I need? You know what, folks, um, frozen corn right from the grocery store, or today we're just using canned corn right from the grocery store. Open up the can, put it on your hook, you're good to go. So I'm going to bait up again and uh, hopefully get into some carp this time. I catch some fish. <laughs> it's instead of a turtle. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Antonio, I didn't even, I wasn't even watching. Oh, oh you that lost was a big one. Actually. That was a good one? Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and oh, well. he took your bait. Had him. Yeah, I saw that. It was a good hook set. Mind you, it's a very ultralight rod. Yes. All the, fish. all the hook sets look big on that ultralight rod. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, oh. I would put that one at four or five pounds. But that's what we want. We want some four or five pounders because they're in here. And oh. typically, eh, we, we don't normally, you wouldn't normally fish with a bobber uh, for carp. Hey, actually, there we go. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> that's my fish. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> As I was talking, I just saw my bobber go down. And I was going to say, we don't normally fish for a carp with a bobber. Oh yeah. But uh, because we're fishing in a boat, 
what we're doing is we got the bobber just to kind of keep us in, in the spot there. As the boat shifts around, our sinker stays on the bottom. Oh yeah. And the bobber helps keep us in line. Otherwise, I wouldn't. if I was fishing from shore, I wouldn't use a bobber. Here he is, Antonio. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you see that? It's, it's like one of those Asian carp come flying out of the water. He didn't like that net. No, he did not like the net at all. Wow, it's like this guy's fighting more like a bat. Holy mackerel. He's a shower. He's, he's, he's fighting more like a bass than he is a carp. Oh my. Get my line back out there. Get your line out there, Antonio, yeah. Oh, okay. Good hook set. better than that turtle you caught. <laughs> He's not a turtle. <laughs> okay, Mr. Carp. Okay, not quite five, Antonio. He's maybe two? Maybe two and a half. Bugle lips, that's what they do with those uh, sucker type mouth. They just suck in the, the bait right off the bottom. And that's exactly what he did. And now he just gave me a, a bit of a shower. But boy, oh boy, that's a lot of fun. Now I'm gonna get baited back up. It looks like he took my uh, my second one. As you can see there, that T turn's done its job. You know, folks, how I think about what I think about these T turn swivels. They're absolutely f fantastic. They keep you tangle free. Uh, there's so many different ways you can fish the T turn, and today I'm using it with a double hook rig, and uh, they're absolutely great for any type of three way application. They're just fantastic, and it's doing the job for me today, right now. That's for sure. Oh, Antonio. I What's he doing? Swimming towards the boat? Looks like. He's, oh, 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 oh. He's, well, he came right at me, right towards the boat. Did you see that? Unbelievable. Okay, he's still got a, a lot of life left in him. He's right here. Look at that T turn. Everything's tangle free there. I love it. Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't want to come in. He's going all over the place. You ready? Yeah, Let's see if we can. He's thinking. Get him at least to the boat here. He does. <laughs> you gotta love this. We just moved spots. There he is, Antonio. There we go. What we're doing, we're just following the shade. There's a nice hook set. We're following the shade along the shoreline. And we just moved and chummed the area. And there's another nice, very nice, uh, oops, very nice carp. And because we know they're small, we're using uh, light line. I'm only running uh, eight pound test line. And uh, actually, Antonio, you're running six, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got the ultra light. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there's, there's a catch release for you. And the other thing we're doing, fishing the shallow water, which is very, very important. And it doesn't matter if you're fishing for carp or fishing for, for bass. When you fish in shallow water, Hey Antonio, the casts, the casts got to be very quiet because it's shallow water, you don't want to spook anything. So we're just kind of lightly casting into the into the shaded areas and, and waiting. So it's a, it's a good technique, again, no matter what you're fishing for. I'm going to load up with some more corn here and uh, we might re-chum the area a little bit. And the chum just keeps the carp around. It brings them around, it keeps them around. And corn is, uh, corn is a great bait to use and uh, readily available and it works really, really well. Antonio, I got the hot spot going here. Catching all the fish. There's another one. The two hooks. The two hook method. He's coming right in too. Where is he? Now he's, he's just realized he's hooked. Okay, Antonio. I think we can, there we go. Mirror image of the last one. Mirror image of the last one. Okay, he's full of energy. I brought him in pretty quick. Okay, let's get him off the hook. Now, speaking of hooks, ah, here we go. They're not the four or five pounders we're after, but we're having a lot of fun with these smaller carp. And uh, the hooks I'm using today, Antonio, you're using, what are you using, size? I'm using size, actually got size six on. Size six. I know Antonio likes his to be a little smaller. And what I'm using here, I've got a, a size 4 here, the smaller one, and a size 2. 
and I like to use actually I prefer to use a size a size two but I've got a two and a four on here today only to, to keep on Antonio happy you get the corn keep Antonio happy because he likes to use those smaller hooks but I don't know you got a size six on there that's that's kind of small but mind you we are catching smaller fish but I do like to use my my absolute favorite is a size two hook and it's an octopus style hook and uh, again we're, we're fishing with light line catching small fish but uh, otherwise you want to make sure that you've got uh, a heavy uh, heavier heavier line or sorry heavier wire uh, hook otherwise these carp will just the big carp will just hey they'll just bend it right back yeah they bend it right back and and uh, and you lose your fish but for today these hooks are perfect they're thinner wire they're holding the corn nicely and uh, they're doing the job that's for sure I'm gonna get my line back out there right to that little shaded spot there I'm fishing and um, like I say, we, we made that move a little while ago. I'll throw a little more corn, a little more chum. Oh, it didn't quite make the shade. But uh, I'll cast back out there. And nice and quiet cast there. Perfect. There we go. And again, the bobber is only for detecting a bite. We're not fishing suspended. Our bait is right on the bottom. And uh, the only reason for the bobber, we've got that slip sinker method as I showed you with the sinker sliding just before the T-turn. And uh, the bobber is just to uh, help us detect when we get a bite. And the boat could shift to the left, it could shift to the right. Oh, there's a bite. Antonio, did you see that? It did. Yeah. He just... Now, uh, I was too slow there. What I want to mention... Oh, there he is, there he is. There, there we go. Oh, I missed him. What I was going to say with these carp, it's not like fishing for perch or uh, waiting for a good bite. I still have my corn. Um, when you get a bite, you pretty much want to pull right away. Because as soon as you got a bite, that means the carp has picked up your bait. And uh, there's no sense to wait because you don't want him to detect anything or to spit out the, spit out the hook. So as soon as you get a bite, pull it back right away. Um, and you'll have much, much better luck that way. Good fish? Feels good. Actually, it's a little bit bigger than I've been catching. Look at that little ultralight. Oh yeah. Net it? Yeah, I'll net him, Antonio. Give me a good bite. Yeah, I saw that. I took your bobber right down. Okay. Oh yeah. He doesn't want to come in. Look at him go. <laughs> Imagine, if these little fish are fighting like that, imagine the big ones, how they are. Okay, oh there you go, that's a nicer fish, Antonio. There we go. Nice, there you go. That's about two pounds. Okay. Yeah. Close to the one, like the one I caught earlier. Ah, uh, this one's a bit bigger. <laughs> of course. Mr. Carp. Nice fish. Yeah, there you go. On that little ultralight rod, you gotta love that. <laughs> he gave you a splash, and I gotta check my line. Actually, I was getting bites. Look at that, Antonio. Oh yeah, strip the corn. Strip my corn, <laughs> Antonio. While you're baiting up, I didn't cast. Yeah, you didn't cast, and I. This feels really you're small your though. Spot. You're taking my spot. Hey, that's no fair. <laughs> I, I do have a good spot there though. This is tiny. It's another one of those small. The net. Yeah. Well, why not? It's another crossbreed. Another crossbreed, eh? So it's a cross between a carp and a goldfish. A carp and a goldfish. Look at that. Okay, let's get him back in. Oh, hold on tight there, Mr. Carp. Okay, and away he goes. I don't know. This is just a lot of fun. And I gotta tell you folks, the, the bites are we're not waiting that long to get a bite. This is a nice little spot here in Virgil. It's a little little noisy today. They got the um, uh, all the vineyards around and you get all the, the bird bangers going, but uh, other than that, it's a nice quiet morning. <laughs> Catching yeah. them all. <laughs> you know what I really like, folks? Antonio cast to my spot, so I cast to his spot. <laughs> it's another one of those hybrid carps. I don't even need the net, Antonio. This just... <laughs> Look at him go crazy now. Oh, there we go. Another little carp. All right, back in he goes. Well, I got to tell you folks, this is just a lot of fun. If you get an opportunity, you don't need a boat. If you're fishing from shore, follow the shoreline, follow the shade, fish those shaded areas. Uh, 
get a little bit of corn. I got actually I got to show you Antonio's tackle box. This is a classic. Show me your tackle box, Antonio. You got to see this, folks. This this tells it all when it comes to fishing for carp. <laughs> That's what you got in there. I got a couple of hooks, a couple of sinkers, some T turns. That's it. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good for the tackle manufacturers, but yeah, Antonio's got a very valid point. You don't need a lot of tackle for fishing for carp. As you see, all I have is a T-turn, a couple hooks, and a sinker. Uh, the bobber, of course, because of the way we're fishing today, but from shore, wouldn't even need that. So, <laughs> as funny as that is, that's all you really need. Anyhow, folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing fish. Tips. Oh, 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 and before <laughs> we sign off, maybe we'll let Antonio land this fish. He did catch it in my spot after all. Here, let me move this out of the way. It's small. Another little one? You don't need a net? No. Uh, Actually, I... he's giving you a little tussle there on that ultralight. Ah, oh, okay. There, oh, it's just a little, another little <laughs> fish. Okay. On that note, folks, like I says, thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to spend a little more time out here, hopefully get a little bit bigger fish. But you know what? If not, we're having a lot of fun regardless. So thanks again for tuning in. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck good fishing.